to Anshuman Deka, who says that <coughs> leadership, yes, really matters. Over to Dr. Anshuman. Can you load his presentation, please? Uh, so good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you, AIOS and ARC, for okay. giving me this podium to speak. I think I have spent one year uh, in this LDP program, and if you say leadership doesn't matter, I would obviously say no to it. It does matter, and I would like to differ with Dr. Ajit. Uh, I believe he has just brought in some negative feedbacks uh, and just highlighted it, and I will bring in some positive things. So what exactly is leadership? So leadership is about collaboration, inspiring others to do their best work. So it could involve uh, titles like leadership, management, teamwork, strategy, planning. So all these things go to hand in hand. And it is an ability to collaborate with other team members by delegating tasks, leading by example, and making sure that you, they really feel that you care about them. So leadership is not about uh, in a particular organization. We have seen that it happens among all strata in our society, whether it is in your cricket field where you have your captain as your leader who leads uh, all the decisions he takes. He takes into the credibility. If he succeed, he would uh, not take, he would, uh, take the failure in his own uh, stride. In case if you go for a hiking, maybe you will need a team, a person who would lead you to the top. And in case if it is a boat race, maybe you will have someone to lead you from the drop, show you the way, and uh, subsequently make it successful. So what could be the possible characteristics a good leader should have? So he should be decisive, he should be trustworthy among his colleagues, he should help in empowering people, and clear communication is the key, so that uh, the other team members understand what is the requirement. And obviously, teamwork, as we have all mentioned, is a key to for being successful in your organization, whether in life or whatever it is. So what, what is the ideal uh, leadership? It could be a democratic one, where you receive all the inputs from your teammates, you listen to them, uh, and then finally uh, share your opinions and then execute your plans so that it doesn't become a failure. I think it's getting stuck. My presentation, excuse me, it's getting stuck, okay. So what could be the benefits of the leadership? It could be helpful in bringing about a profitable, profitability in the organization. It could uh, play an important role in employee um, mot uh, uh, motivation, and then also a communicate culture which will uh, bring in, which will connect people each other and help each other to perform well for the organization. So is there a difference between uh, leadership versus management? So uh, mani uh, leaders and managers have different approaches to approach their goals. So managers could seek compliance or rules and procedures, whereas leaders would thrive on breaking the norm and challenging the status quo. So uh, at times, uh, leaders and managers could have different visions. So leaders are considered to be visionaries whereas managers are impl uh, implementers uh, who are just uh, implement whatever they are assigned to. So the managers assured that the goal which has been assigned to by their superiors is being achieved. Also, managers achieve their goals by delegating responsibilities, while leaders would motivate people and envision the team's future. So they also have an important part in analyzing and assessing the situation and further uh, give uh, the this thing. So what do leaders do? So leaders are not people who always hold higher ranks in, their in, in an organization. They are people who are known for their beliefs and work ethics. A leader is passionate about his work, passes on the enthusiasm to his fellow workers, enabling to ensure to achieve their goals. And each leader has a personal, uh, can have a personal leadership brand, which can be uh, carefully cultivated and intuitively perceived by leaders themselves and their followers. So okay. conclude, to conclude, leadership plays an important role in handling and managing the activities of any organization. Leaders will be more valuable than managers in their overall growth of the organization, and thereby leadership development is must to inculcate the values of being a good leader. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Dr. Angshuman. That was, again, a good debate. And uh, uh, so next speakers, I request them to please take up the dais. Uh, any expert panel, any view on their uh, this thing? But one thing I would like to say, Ajit Podar, sir, is there are, there are three types of leadership, broadly defined. What India needs today is not a democratic kind of leadership, 
neither an autocratic kind of leadership yes. what you describe it as narcissist or the machiavellian or anything what india needs today i think or the younger generation what it needs today is the influential kind of leadership how yes. you can influence on the people and how you can take them forward yes sure. any any other views from the expert panel quickly no uh, actually dr ajit uh, had a very very difficult topic but uh, it is he put it uh, absolutely in context that uh, leaders evolve out of a context yes. so the context is important and uh, obviously he is the change agent so the context is brought around by him yes. like arun singh we said that the uh, st the standards of tar 2 city i care is not good let us do something about it yes. so he got people around him he initially people didn't hear him maybe his friend only heard him and then it grouped and shaped and it went forward so this is how things move yeah thank you sir thank